Hello, this is Joe Simhart, another installment of Cults in the Yaw Culture. Someone asked me to follow up on the channeling talk that I did, I uh, mentioned Ramtha, and to concentrate a little more on Ramtha, I guess the big question for a lot of people is, is Jay-Z Knight, who channels Ramtha, is she faking it, is she a fraud, is she acting? Uh, it's, this has been addressed several times in the past, but more significantly, in the late 90s by a, a J. Gordon Melton who wrote this book, Finding Enlightenment. And uh, he uh, calls it the Ramtha School of Ancient Wisdom. Uh, he was invited and allowed to study the uh, group and to participate in their sessions. And he uh, also has been a witness for the group in court. Um, so he's not without bias in some sense. Um, some people call him a cult apologist. I think that's a little strong. He has a deep interest in new religions, has done extensive research. Uh, I don't always agree with him, but some of it's useful. In any case, in his uh, book, he, he addresses this problem, that he had, whether Jay-Z Knight is faking it or not. And so he suggested to her to... Um, get uh, Stanley Krippner from the Saberk Institute, he's a parapsychologist, and with some of his team, to test Jay-Z to see if they could figure if uh, there was any evidence of fraud or a distinct personality or whatever. And um, so um, Krippner, who was the president of the Parapsychology Foundation, um, he... Uh, they did uh, a bunch of psychological tests and they found that she dissociates easily, uh, very high on the absorption uh, scale and, and she has boundary, loose boundary issues, which makes sense for a channeler, especially one who's been dissociating so long as she has with this uh, entity now for four decades. Um, but the most intriguing questions, Melton says, to be asked concerning Ramtha's independence, independent existence uh, so Jay-Z Knight insists that Ramtha is independent. He can, can float around in the ethers all by himself and uh, hang out wherever entities hang out. Whereas the students um, have only had contact with Ramtha when he manifests through Jay-Z on stage. And so many, including former students, uh, claim that it is simply acting on Jay-Z's part. Krippner and his uh, colleagues then tested... Uh, uh, some involuntarily, uh, I'm sorry, involuntary bodily functions such as heart rate, muscle tension, pulse, skin temperature, and skin moisture um, through an entire cycle. So they tested Jay-Z as Jay-Z and they tested Jay-Z in trance as Ramtha and found distinctions in these uh, indicators that the heartbeat increased, uh, muscle tension and skin moisture um, changed and, and so forth. So they, they basically saying that they were ruling out pathology and fraud, that this wasn't multiple personality disorder and that, uh, she wasn't just merely offering a good stage performance. Well, she does offer a good stage performance, so they didn't really rule that out. And as far as, uh, having a split personality, I don't know what else you could call it. I mean, there's Ramtha and there's Jay-Z Knight, and this team has been performing for quite some time. Now the question is, for the, for the devotee, the person that that's, uh, finds this whole thing credible, is how real is it to, to them? And, and the ones I've talked to, the reason they stayed in is they think it's real. And they are able to project all kinds of things and forgive all kinds of other things in order to keep their mind and money and time engaged in, in, in the whole system of enlightenment that Jay-Z Knight offers. But, I mean, there's a simpler way to look at this. And, um, you know, you can, you can pull a rabbit out of a hat and have it talk to you like this and say, hello, you know, in a puppet-like fashion. Um, you can do this with children and children easily identify with the agency of the puppet, not thinking of the puppeteer, right? So, so they see that character. And we do this as adults when we um, identify with the K 
character of a actor who is in a really fine movie, we get absorbed into the character and we almost have to to enjoy the movie. And so we have this capacity to become very absorbed in what is really not there, what is more symbolic or an illusion of being there. Uh, so I, uh, I don't think there's any other answer. I mean, this is Jay-Z night acting. It might be an extraordinary act. Body temperatures and muscle tension and heart rate and all this sort of thing might change. But this team of parapsychologists never really did peer review studies. For instance, to look at a, an, an actor that's a good character actor going through the same changes and um, seeing if it's comparable to what Jay-Z experiences going through her change to become Ramtha. Um, in any case, I think the bottom line is uh, it's up to the person to decide. I've exit counseled or convinced dozens of people to leave the Ramtha organization and helped ex-members many times to make sense of it, of their experience. Uh, I'm just going to read you this came out in 2001 from a lady uh, named Linda who was a deeply involved in the school and she wrote this email to thank me for my help. Um, she said that uh, I found a paper you wrote about Gordon Melton's book on Ramp that was dedicated to Jeff Knight. To make a long story short, I just wanted to let you know I am doing well and want to thank you for the help you gave me when I needed it so very much. Leaving Ramp to school was one of the bravest things I've ever done in my life. I was so brainwashed at the time that I thought it really meant life or death. But with people like you, I had the courage to do it. So I think this is what this is really about, personal choice, and whether or not you're being conned. Uh, whether or not Ramp is real isn't the real problem. The real problem is the influence game and whether it's harming you when you get involved with it. So. Um, that's about it. That's all I have to say. You can look at the research. There's plenty online.